school this is Mr. Hernandez the tech teacher and today I want to show you how to use CodeSpark let's get started okay the first thing you'd like to do is click on schools in the corner click on students click on use classroom code and start entering the code that I sent you through Class Dojo or through your teacher or myself. It's a five digit code. It's only good for two days. If the code expires, I'll be happy to send you another code, but if the code is good, the green button will show up green and then press green. For this example, I'm going to back up to the beginning. Once you enter the code and the screen loads, you get this green button. The first time you sign in, when you look at your uh, class page, you'll see a bunch of gray faces. Look for your name, it's an ABC order by first name. For our example, today I'm clicking on ALES Computer Lab, third grade. Again, you click on your grade level. I'm gonna click on this uh, practice student that I have. If you have more than uh, one brother or sister using uh, class, I mean CodeSpark, you'll see more than one class listed there. So for this example, again, I'm using third grade and this practice student name. The first time you log in, go ahead and go through all the beginning steps, creating a name, creating a face. Anytime you sign in for the first time during a day, you also might see some boxes or other advertisements. Go ahead and click through those. So I will continue by talking about the three main game modes here that you see, puzzles, create, and explore. I'm going to get to a little bit more in depth with puzzles and create and not so much explore. You'll also see a running uh, bar down here at the bottom. This is just advertising new features. You could always click on those. On the top left, you'll see your face as well as um, option settings here for looking at your badges, your achievements, you see your coins. If you need to switch out your character, you can right here. And also, if you need to switch out back to the home screen, you can click here with these uh, empty faces there. Let me click out of that. I'm going to click on puzzles. I won't do all the puzzles, but you'll notice that when you get into your first world, it'll be colored, highlighted. The other worlds will appear gray for you. On mine, they appear colored because I have completed all these levels on this account. Five worlds, each world has several levels. Click on the green button to get started. I've completed all these levels in this account, so it starts at the end of the world, but you'll notice that when you start, you start on level one. I will only go through level one for right now. Usually each world that you start, you see a comic. I'm going to press continue. Code Spark is all about creating code. This is block code where you have to click and drag and it snaps into place. If you don't like it, you can drag it back out. There's also other customizable commands. You can click on the arrows to change where you want this character to move. We're leaving it to the right. And when you're ready to run your character, press on the character, the police. The police means run. It's running the program as if it was real code. I'll do one last level. As the levels progress, you'll have more spaces for more code. Again, the idea being collecting donuts. Donuts give you energy to collect um, to be able to catch the uh, glitch monster. You'll see there's green coins that you can collect that give you more uh, stars at the end of the level. If you ever make a mistake you could always restart the level if you make a mistake and don't restart the level and finally solve the puzzle solve the code sequence uh, you might not get all the stars of the level so i'm going to press run and there we have it so again i get stars sometimes they tell you what else is to be expected in the next levels you can replay on the bottom here you could replay the level in case you didn't get all your stars or you could press next for this example, I'm going to go back to the beginning. 
back arrow, back arrow, and I'm going to talk about create. The first time you play on create, you'll have to go through some practice rounds. My uh, account that I'm using right now, I've done those practice rounds and I've already started creating. If I want to create a new project, I press new. If I want to continue my projects, I press my projects. If I want to see what else other people are doing on CodeSpark, I go to community. As well, if you have a code specific uh, to a friend's level, you would go to community. Store uh, is exactly where you go to uh, add customizable uh, buildings, blocks, traps, and things, characters. You can buy them using your coins from the puzzles. Create-A-Foo is a new feature that lets you create your own little uh, characters to be able to jump around in the levels. For this example, I'll go to New. I'll go to Create. You could also click on some of these other buttons, Create Story and Ideas for other uh, examples of creating levels. Create Game. My level automatically gives me a name at the bottom. If I want to change the name, I could always click on this page to edit. I'll just keep it as Hungry and Queen. Every level is about uh, collecting the star at the end, similar to like a Super Mario World game. The backpack gives you all the items and objects you have available to you. Delete would let you delete something. So let's say I don't want that, I can press delete. My store lets me purchase other items and things and objects, characters to add to my uh, creation toolbar. This is where I would start. So for this level, just to make it basic and easy, you click on the object you want, and then click in the space uh, on the editing page. Let's make it a little more challenging. Continue some spikes. Let's put some blocks. End. Let's add our star. When you're ready to play, press play. WASD lets you move your character. Don't forget the jump button. And then you get the star. And so you can replay your level, you can edit your level clicking on the wrench. You can share. If I want to share my level, you have to have enough coins to share, so it'll ask you. Do you want to spend 25 coins? I'll say yes. Give your coin, uh, sorry, give your level a description. I'm just going to call it artsy. There's so many descriptions you can give it. It helps just make your levels unique. Press green. It takes you back to your projects page. Um, finished levels are shown at the bottom. Uh, levels that aren't finished or published show up as drafts. You can always delete them. And so if I play through my level, this is the one I just did. Click on my level. I'm going to play this real quick so I can show you how you get your level code. And that way you can share it with friends. Friends and family. So if there's two ways to share, you can click on the share button here for the link. Copy it, paste it, send it in an email. Or... You click on these three dots and this is where you get the game level code. Your code here will be entered in the community page with the explore search button. So this is my code. I won't memorize it right now, but that's okay. Go back to the beginning. Go back. Community. If I click up here on the top right corner to search and type in that code, Obviously, I didn't type in the code correctly, but I would do a search and find the level to play. So this is how you share levels and find somebody else's levels. You could also see other current users who have shared their levels. The most current levels being shared are shown here at the bottom. You could easily play those as well. So I'm going to back out. That's create. And last, you can click on Explorer. I won't go too deep into the Explorer, but this game mode is a fun game mode. If you don't want to do puzzles, you don't want to do create, you want to do something else that's kind of fun, fun different types of games. Splash Class is a new uh, game mode in Explorer dealing with, looks like, water balloon fights. A popular one is Pet Pals. You get to take care of virtual digital pets. 
crocodile catch, catching as many coins as you can. This is a fun one, Wild West Pets, pets doing stunts, kind of like a circus type of thing. And then Sweet Sorter, collecting sweets. Fun mini games, different than puzzles and create. So I hope you like it. This is free again. Use the code. Um, check out the Clash Dojo uh, page, specials class page, where I send the paper version of these explanations of how to sign in and get started with Code Spark. Don't forget the code. If the code runs out on you, expires, ask me through Class Dojo or ask your teacher to ask me, and I'll be happy to get you another Code Spark code. Thanks for watching. Thank you.